There's probably no team in the NBA that has a more exciting future than the Oklahoma City Thunder. Either it's their 10 million draft picks, it's either Shea Gilgis Alexander, one of the top young players in the league, as well as just a rookie that's taking over this year in Josh Giddy, a great 3 and D player in Lou Dort. There's a lot going for the Thunder right now. So what is going on, everybody? How is everybody doing today? I'm doing a realistic Thunder rebuild. Now you might be like, Matt, really? A Thunder rebuild? I feel like we see this all the time. For me personally, a lot of my recent Thunder rebuilds have been fantasy style, where I'm using all these draft picks that we have that I can't pull up right now, but at the end of the year, you'll see them. And I'm trading for multiple superstars, and this is the team I went 82 and 0 with. That's pretty much what majority of my Thunder rebuilds have been, but I've never really built this team realistically. I'm going to do that today. I used you guys on my community tab a couple days ago, which realistic rebuild do you want to see next between the Rockets, Hornets, Thunder, and Jazz? And it was pretty evenly distributed between the Hornets, Rockets, and Jazz, and the Thunder won it with 38%. So there might be a new community tab up there now saying which team you want me to do next. Either it's the Rockets, Hornets, or Jazz, or maybe I'm just going to do all three as my next couple of rebuilds. So just be on the lookout for those. So yeah, let's build this Thunder's team. Now I did download a start today option. We don't really have anything going for us in the contract extension tab. And what I want to go with this rotation is have Shea, Gideon, Dort getting a lot of minutes and also Trey Mann. This man, uh, no pun intended, needs to be getting a ton of minutes. He has a ton of potential and like even guys like Aaron Wiggins have been good for them this year. And the Thunder are just such a fun team, man, to watch. I would love to be a Thunder fan. I would just have no reason to be, but you know, they're like a team in the Western Conference that I am rooting for. So yeah, I'm playing Shea a lot, Giddy a lot, Dort a lot, man, all those guys basically. So there's like, when you're Sam Presti right now, right? And you're trying to make your star player, your franchise guy, Shea Gojis Alexander happy. Now he's been on two losing seasons in a row now for the Thunder because three years ago, they were supposed to be a losing team, but no, Chris Paul helped them go to the playoffs. And with all their first round picks they have at the moment, like they're eventually going to have to trade some of them. They're not gonna be able to sign four, five first round pick rookies, six, seven, eight total draft picks in certain classes. They just don't have the roster spots for that. So we are gonna use them in either trades for maybe we move two first round picks for a future first round pick down the line and we just kind of recycle that. Or we do make a play for a disgruntled star. Now, something recently was DeMontis Sabonis. I didn't think they were going to get Tyrese Halbert in, in return, but if the package wasn't that great, I was like, why don't you give up three first round picks and Trey Mann or somebody like that or Baisley and Poku, something like that for Sabonis. Like, he's on a great contract. He's still fairly young. Fits your timeline with Shea. So... That didn't happen because I, I don't think anybody thought Halliburton was getting moved for Sabonis. The Chicago Bulls won the 2022 Finals, and Nikola Vucevic is your Finals MVP. Okay. And, like, this rebuild doesn't need to be five years to get to the point where I need to be. Like, we could be a playoff team next year. I don't need to be losing every year. So, we are protected the number one pick with ours. Now, that Pistons pick, I think, is, like, lottery protected, so I'm not going to scheme it. I'm going to give it back to them if it's in the lottery. All right, so this Pistons pick is projected pick seven. They get it. I think it's it's still protected right now, and I think it's lottery protected for at least a couple years. So, let's just, I guess, hope the Pistons make the playoffs next year so we get, like, a nice 15th overall pick. Good thing is, we don't jump to five. <sighs> Okay. We go from one to five and it'd be nice to add a superstar. Now we could be in the market. Like we have all these draft picks. Why don't I trade up for somebody? Why don't I get a Jaden Ivy or a Chet Holmgren or somebody on this team? Like we have five, 16 and 28. And look at these first. We have potentially five first round picks next year. Now we won't because some of them will convey, but we have guaranteed three possibly four for some picks in 2024 and then all these that possibly like if they conveyed to that year like we have so many first i gotta be smart now if you're thinking of like potential disgruntled stars in real life you have zion williams symbol i'm not saying like they're disgruntled they've just been in reports and rumors i'm not saying they will get traded i'm just throwing those names out there like you have zion you have bradley beal you have like cat was a thing but the timberwolves have been respectable this year so that's kind of dialed down donovan mitchell damian lillard a couple of those guys don't really fit on this team like damian lillard bradley bill they do not fit on this team whatsoever zion and cat they do so i could offer or give them an offer they can't refuse 
So, like, I don't know. We might not be able to trade for Zion now, but I might later on. And in the trading Zion Pelicans rebuild, I traded him through the Thunder. So, we can trade for him now, but we may be able to down the line. I want to see if I can move 16, 28 in Tail Maladon for pick 8 with the Kings. If not, we'll try pick 9. And then if not, we will try pick 10. They say no to that. Okay, so who's got pick 9? That is the Blazers. Would they want to first in Tail Maladon? They say no. Okay. Uh, who's got pick 10? Let's try one of those teams. And then we'll see if we can knock this trade out. So the Pacers have this pick and they say no. I don't know if there's any other young guy I would want to throw in like Jerry, but I think Jerry's got some value. Aaron Wiggins, that's a decent amount and I don't really want to give up any other picks. So, all right, on to pick 11, which is the New York Knicks and they can't afford this. You really can't afford Tail Maladon? Okay, that's, that's weird. All right, so the team that has picked 12 can't do this. I will lose my mind, which is the Blazers again. So we will try Tail Maladon and those two first for your first there. Thank you. So now we have picks five and 12. All right, so it is the NBA draft and I could look to move up, you know, if we take a look at the mock drafts, Bancaro, Smith, Holmgren, Ivy, like I'm not taking Tari Eason. I don't really want Jalen Duran on this team. So I want one of those four guys. I just don't think any of these teams would trade out of these spots unless we give them a godfather package. So we could look to maybe move the pick for a player. I don't really know. I, I got to figure that out. Whoa. <laughs> Paul George back to the Thunder, I wish. I'm not going to trade for Cat now, but next year, if the Timberwolves do not make the playoffs and Cat does not sign an extension where he's a one-year deal, then I'll look to trade for him. So who knows? Maybe something funny will happen and somebody will fall. So Bancaro goes one. Jabari Smith goes two. Don't be Chet. Um, oh, well, I have trade approval. Or no, this is a trade. So they want... So I will look to make a trade with the Magic if they are interested because clearly they are. So I would give you... I don't know why I'm like considered the Magic right now. But can I make a trade with you, Orlando? And of course I can't because they're making the pick. So I know they're going to take probably somebody. Wait, yeah, it says on the magic right now, which is really annoying. I think it's like some glitch. Yeah, and they take Chad Holmgren. I mean, makes sense. But you already have Carter Jr. Now I get it. And then Jaden Ivey goes. So pretty much what I didn't want to happen happens. But you can't always be lucky in these. Since I got him in the expansion rebuild, I don't really want to take like Johnny Davis at all. I mean, like we could go AJ Griffin. I don't really want AJ Griffin is the thing. I don't want Jalen Duran is also another thing. So we could look at Keegan Murray. Fifth pick. Ugh, we got so unlucky. You couldn't have dropped me to four. I would have taken Jaden Ivey on this team. All right, give me Keegan Murray. Maybe we can get something out of him. And you know what? I will take AJ Griffin here at pick 12. So M Murray and Griffin, welcome to the team. Those guys could be featured in a trade next year though. All right, so this, I guess, for... Uh, mode's more of a challenge for us. Like, I didn't get a franchise-changing player in this trip, but we got two complementary pieces that, like, Keegan Murray could be my starting power forward. AJ Griffin could be my sixth man next year, for all I know. So, we'll see if we're going to make a move this offseason. Uh, Derek Favors opts in. That's fine. Whatever. I'm going to bring back Baisley, Roby, Poku, Jerome. I'm going to let walk. Muscala, Kendrick Williams, I'm definitely going to bring back. So, James Harden's here. Does he want to come back to OKC? We don't even have the money for that. So, why would anybody want to sign with me? Uh, I mean, Aiden, if he became an unrestricted free agent, we'd be able to offer him a crazy package. But now he goes back to Phoenix, as he should. So, do I want to go after Mitchell Robinson? Not really. Do I want to go after anybody here? Not really. So, this, I guess, year is a very big transitional year. Because I think... Oof. I don't know. We play all our young guys, right? And if we're bad, we're bad. That's fine. But if we're good... I don't know. We, I, I think, like, we're going to make a trade 100%. We could even make a move at the deadline. I just want to see how many guys I got right now. So we have about like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Yeah, we have plenty of guys that can play um, next year in the rotation. So I'm not going to make any more trades right now. These guys are progressing. That's what we want to see, especially out of these two. All right. So like I said, this is just another transitional year because Shay, he could be uneasy at the end of this year if we were losing again. Uh, but yeah, I'm just excited to see what these young guys can do. I'm going to, I don't even think I'm going to play Derek Favors. I just don't really have a reason to. So Jamiah Robinson Earl is going to start at the five. Now who else deserves minutes? Like Poku, I need to get minutes too. Maybe I should have moved Poku in the off season because we would have 11 guys that I want to play. Isaiah Roby, we did have him in the expansion rebuild. Like Jerry, he's going to get like 24 Roby, I don't think I want to start Roby. I'd rather give the start to Keegan Murray. Obviously, Dort and Giddy, they can get 33 apiece, these two. Dort can get 31. Um, and then let me figure out some more allocation. So, yeah, like, it, it's going to be tough to really give everybody minutes here. Uh, but it's going to look something like this. Yeah, it's going to go Giddy, Shea, Dort, Murray, Jerry. And then we got AJ Griffin, Trey Mann, Darius Baisley, Roby, and Kemmerich Williams, as well as Poku off the bench. So, I think the 2023 offseason, where we have a ton of draft picks, 
and I think we need to make a trade. We're going to target, I, I think, a whole new front court. And I don't want to draft a new front court unless I get Wemba and Iyama. But I want to go out and trade for a big name. Now, if, if we're going to keep an eye on the Timberwolves because if they don't make the playoffs, could look at that. I'll try a Zion Williams thing as well. It's just going to be so hard because 2K is like never going to want to trade him. All right, yeah. Not a great season at all. We are the 14th seed. Would have been nice if we had some luck in the lottery and I could have added Jabari Smith out of Auburn. Russ is getting six man of the years, man. He has kind of fallen off a little bit. I mean, we can monitor Donovan Mitchell as well, but his fit is, I don't know. We already have Gideon and Shea, and that's like the two guys I want to win with. So it would be tough. The Timberwolves, please, please don't get out of the play-in tournament. That would be nice. And they didn't. Let's go. <laughs> that gives us a reason to trade for Cat. That gives us a great reason. We will have the resources to do so. Even if he signed an extension, I think we could still try it. But I don't know. It would give us more reason if he didn't sign an extension. And he didn't. Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to make a big play for Carl Anthony Towns here. And then I guess maybe a more defensive-minded power forward. The Pelicans were the two seed. I mean, yeah, they're really good. Um, I don't think, like, Zion, I could try for it. just going to be so hard to do so. Josh Giddy averaged 13, 7, and 5.5. And like, Shea was a stud for us. And then if we could just add, I think, like, we have two great defenders as it is in Lou Dort and Shea Gilgis Alexander. And Cat, not the greatest defender in the world. So I think we should, if we're going to target Cat, go after a defensive minded power forward, and we'll be chilling. AJ Griffin, mm, okay, season off the bench. How is Keegan Murray? Didn't really shoot a lot, you could say. But yeah, I also want to clear a lot of this depth um off this team like there could be a poku trade there could be a darius Baisley trade uh Cambridge williams might not be re-signed as Jokic wins finals mvp they sweep the bucks carmel anthony going to the hall of fame and yeah like if we have a bunch of draft picks as well i want to get a lot of this stuff i think i want to like a clear-cut nine-man rotation next year with playoffs like as a goal bare minimum and i don't want to be in a play in tournament playoffs or it's like nice if we're the 10th seed no i want to make a huge jump going from the 14th seed to a six seed so yeah it works out that the clippers were bad too because uh we may get their pick uh but we'll see because our pick is also pretty high up there or actually yeah no so the clippers weren't here detroit is at 11 i will have to trade that back to him that wizards pick number one you just had jabari smith you got christophs and beal i don't know if they kept beal but uh their pick is also lottery protected that's from the russ uh or excuse me russ and russell westbrook trade correct no it's not why do i have that pick unless i was also involved in like a james harden thing or a later trade where that conveyed from houston because i'm not sure where they got that pick from so yeah like i'm not going to keep that 11th pick i will be giving that to detroit because it's still lottery protected at this point yeah and the pelicans can add a top 10 pick so uh yeah we get the sixth overall pick not great I, I don't think the clippers were in here at all so yeah we don't get great lottery luck at all either so today it's been kind of rough we have the 16th pick via the heat and we also have the 30th pick via the nuggets i'm gonna keep mark dagno as our head coach i think we can uh, sign him to an extension and yeah like i said i want to see if i have the assets for carl anthony towns now keegan murray aj griffin they're on the table we're about to make a big splash going after carl anthony towns then sign an extension didn't make the playoffs nothing in the trade finder okay i mean i could wait till we draft some guys but say i gave you keegan murray um does aj griffin have more trade value let's see aj griffin yeah aj griffin does have more trade value so say we did aaron wiggins aj griffin pick 16 30 31 and 41 do they accept this they do so we make a blockbuster move trading for carl anthony towns he's gonna be our center for the future now we still have the fifth overall pick or excuse me the sixth overall pick and we have not 11 i gotta trade that to detroit so yeah like i said i do want to acquire maybe a new power forward as well i'm ready to get more nba ready guys on this team now uh we might have to draft some guys if we wanted to make a trade in a different world i go after ben simmons but now i'm getting him a lot recently so jaron jackson jr could be somebody but would memphis want to move him not sure john collins has been in trade talks before and he got traded to orlando but he's not really the defensive minded guy that i wanted siakam is 29 he's just making so much money now he is due for an extension so we can maybe get him on a more affordable contract so that is a possibility if we wanted to go after uh um what's his name pascal siakam nobody here is like intriguing i mean if we were a big market maybe Jimmy <laughs> we are not a big market whatsoever so there's none of these like young guys i think we can also make a play for and then i'm just looking at maybe any other centers that we could play at the power forward position no one too crazy like chris stops he's a free agent so we do have some cap space so i'm gonna make my selections at five and at 11 that is somebody i would have loved to take i've been saying how i wanted to take kyle uh, filipowski 
and he goes number one. He never goes that high, but when I want to take him, he does. And Scoot Henderson is not somebody I need, so yeah, I wasn't going to take him. When Vanyama fell to three, are you kidding me? I couldn't get that lucky. All right, so Derek Lively's on the board, Imani Bates is on the board, Nick Smith. I don't need another point guard. So I'm going to go after over-reliable Keontae George, who's just a freaking stud. He could be used in a trade, or we could use him as the backup shooting guard. And yeah, Keontae George is a 77 overall. I can't believe one Benny. I'm a to three. If you watch the Bill Russell challenge, like you know, it's been a pretty big beast for us before. So yeah, we're going to pick up the team option on all these guys, but Poku probably is going to get traded. I'm not going to overpay for Darius Basie if he gets a big deal. See, like, I feel like John Collins would be a great addition, but he just got traded to Orlando, so why would they trade me him, you know? So that's a tough trade to make. I feel like Siakam would make a little bit of sense. I mean, I don't really know what I can give up. Nothing that I would give up, so never mind. I might have to go in with a homegrown power forward spot, but if we go here to free agency, uh, we do want to pay Lou Dort, give him a four-year deal, and yeah, since I guess we ended up paying... Uh, what's his name? Carl Anthony Towns or traded for him. We don't really have cap space, which is something I didn't expect today. I thought we were going to have at least a little bit of cap space. So now that Orlando has uh, John Collins, we could maybe try to make a trade for Wendell Carter Jr. He's not making too much money, and I think I would have the assets to get it done. Would I give up Keegan Murray, who we just drafted? That is tough. That is a tough sell, but I would want to include Pukuszewski. And then how much do I have to put in? About four mil. That's tough because out of all these guys right here, that I could move, like, I guess between man and above, comes out to Keegan Murray. So, I, if I offered you Keegan Murray and Pukuszewski, and you gave me this Nuggets pick that you got for Aaron Gordon, we get more first-round picks. I like the addition of Wendell Carter. Like I said, I want to make the playoffs next year, and he makes our lineup a lot better. He gives me good defense at the power forward position, and they say no, but we do have a little bit of assets in here. I'll give you this lottery protected Pistons pick as well. They say yes to that. Okay, so we had Wendell Carter Jr. Not like an all-star or anything crazy like that, but he's somebody that is a tradable contract. He's still young. He has value. We could look to move him. So right now, going into next year, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I would like to bring back one of these guys. Hmm. I think it's going to be Kemrich Williams. I do. He's the cheapest one. He's 28. Uh, Baisley, I don't really want to pay $10 million for. Baisley's not bad, though. He already has been getting better. And yeah, you know, I'm going to send Cameron Williams. Maybe he plays, maybe he doesn't. We'll see if Baisley comes back on the QO at least. I mean, if I offered Baisley two years, about 16 mil team option next year. No, I didn't want to renounce his rights. I hate that it automatically just did that. All right. He's still mulling that offer though. Maybe he accepts it and I can't take it. I hate 2K. I hate 2K. That is so annoying. Why would it automatically do that and assume that I wanted to renounce his rights? Oh, that's so annoying. You know, I was fine. I was choosing Cameron Williams anyway, but like I, I was more open now to the fact of bringing him back and you just screwed me over 2k. Thanks a lot. So yeah, I think that this team can make the playoffs next year. Now I do want to change some of these minutes. Like why is Bojan Bogdanovic getting minutes? Why is Bryn Forbes getting minutes? I think Cameron Williams is good with 15. I think I'm going to go 21 to Keontae George, about 18 to Jerry. We'll go, actually we'll go 24 to Keontae George, 24 to Trey Mann. I'd like to go 33 to Cat. 30 to Wendell Carter, 31 to Blue Dort. How many more? I got seven more here. Do we go 33 there? Hmm. 32 to Giddy, 33 to Shea. I'm good with that. System proficiency is four star balance. What is pace and space at? It is three and a half. We'll see if we can make that work with our coach's preferred system. And like I said, six seed or higher. That's the goal this year. And we have a ton of draft picks. Look at this. We have at least four first round picks in this draft, possibly five. Like, we could get a lot ton next offseason if, like, things don't go our way this offseason. It's not the end of the world. And that's exactly what I wanted. We finished the season as the sixth seed here in the Western Conference. No playing tournament. That's what I'm talking about. We get Keontae George on our rookie second team. Not too bad. And we get Carl Anthony Towns on all NBA third team. He averaged, like, his best season in three years. 22 points, nine and a half rebounds, five assists, over a block a night. 47, 38, 88 splits. He was a stud. Top five center for us in the league. That's what I'm talking about. We have the Warriors in round one. Could we pull off the upset against the Splash Bros? Uh, we'll see. But yeah, to take a more kind of, um, or the outlook from the 2024 season, Shea also averaged 21 points. You'd expect his numbers to go down with the addition of Carl Anthony Towns. Wu Dort's numbers go down just slightly, but he was still very efficient for us. It's nice to have an efficient Wu Dort. Past 2Ks, at least last year. 
You'd always get like the Jonathan Isaac treatment, you know, the Mikel Bridges treatment. Uh, he would just not be very efficient. Marcus Smart, etc. Giddy, career high in points though. 14, uh, technically a career high in assist. I will take that. Trey Mann with a great season as our backup point guard. Keontae George was pretty good himself. Carter Jr. averaged five assists a night. Like him and Cat averaged, what, 10 assists basically combined? That is insane from your front court. All right, so here you go. Can we get our first playoff series victory of the video? It would be an upset. We lose in overtime at the Chase Center. That is brutal. 30, or it's unfortunate, you know. Like, Wendell Carter Jr., holy crap. Even though we lost, what a game from him. All right, maybe, like, I was thinking, am I going to use him as the scapegoat in the offseason? I don't know, though. If he's going to have a great playoff run, we'll see, though. Got uh, 23, 9 and a half, 6. He was also undecided about coming back, so he will be a free agent. We're going to look to resign him, obviously. Carter Jr., another very solid game. On to game 3 here. Damn. Lose by 10 at home. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Cat gives me 33 and 12. Shea has been pretty bad in these playoff games so far. That is brutal. I mean, Carter Jr. is doing what he can. Can we at least not get swept? Ugh. Swept. All right, at least we made the playoffs. That's a step in the right direction. Shea had a good game there. Cat was probably our best player throughout that. At least Cat showed up. At least the front court, the new addition showed up. All right, we got to progress some guys in the offseason and maybe look to make another move as the Bucks win it all. Chris Paul retires on the Wizards. I've been saying their name a lot in this video. All right, are we going to get any crazy luck here in this lottery? I see our team at three. Can't run for me. Long Washington, you can't. I also see our name at seven, but that is a top 10 protected pick, so we will not be getting that. And at 11, let's see. I mean, I've been watching it and we've been getting unlucky, so let me skip it and we get lucky. Let's go. We go from three to two. And we now have the second overall pick after being the six seed. We have two, we have 11, we have 23 also. It's pretty good. All right, so it's going to be a draft time. And do I think I'm going to move anybody? No. We do have four first round picks. I also missed our pick at 20 there. I mean, in this 2024 class, there's some good players in it. There is, but, or there are, I mean, but we could look to move the pick. Like, hypothetically, hypothetically, I don't know. I can get my Donovan Mitchell trade. <laughs> Can I get my Zion Williamson trade? I I might try it. I, I might as well try it. Because he is under contract. I would give you Wendell Carter Jr. I would give you 2, 11, 20, 23, and 47 for Zion Williamson. I will do this. If they say yes, I will feel comfortable with this offer. He wants out. You get a really good package. They say no. Okay. Maybe I'll draft players and then trade them and they might have more value. Yeah, I don't think they're going to want to move Zion. And I don't want to move any of those guys. So we just have a lot of firsts and that's a problem. So I think I'm going to move some of them. Like, can I move 20, 23, and 17 for like a future first? Yeah, so the Hawks are in the top five this year. Would they give me their 2026 top five protected first for these two? Or the, yeah, there's two firsts and a second and they do. So now we have two firsts. So DJ Wagner goes number one to the Suns. I think we just look at best player available. By the looks of this, it will be Elijah Fisher. And with the 11th pick, we're going to take Robert Dillingham. So I don't know if these are enough, these two assets, to get Zion Williamson. We will try, though. So say we did Zion Williamson in exchange for Dillingham. And we also did Elijah Fisher. Uh, and I also, like, if I could maybe do this without Wendell Carter Jr., that would be sick. I'd give you this Clippers pick, that Nuggets pick, that Jazz pick, that Sixers pick. They say no. What about if I take out this first and I throw in Wendell Carter Jr. And I'm like, all right, this is the most I can offer you. If you say no, it is what it is. Yeah, it's impossible. Okay. Jason Tatum is in the final year of his deal. He's expressed that he wants a stump free agency. I want to see if I could maybe pull it off. I'd give you Elijah Fisher. I'd give you like a just a god offer. Um, yeah, because I'm like, maybe we just had a new small forward on the team. I would give you this Jazz pick that has some value. I would give you this Clippers pick. I'd give you this mm, this Hawks pick. Uh, it's only one star. I'm trying to find this picks that aren't just one star. And I'd give you this Clippers pick. Would they accept this for Jason Tatum? That'd be kind of crazy. Damn it. <laughs> uh, what about if I give you Wendell Carter Jr. instead? Okay, never mind. Like, I'm trying to think Donovan Mitchell. Can Josh Giddy play the three? Maybe he could. Maybe he could. He's in the final year of his deal. He wants to test free agency. You know what? It's positional as basketball. Let's see if we can pick up Donovan Mitchell for just maybe the two guys we just drafted. Elijah Fisher and Robert Dillingham. And they say no. What? Are you serious? What about if I give you this jazz? Your first round pick back. Come on. That's got to be valuable. 
Damn it. I'll give you one more. This Clippers one. I don't want to give up Wendell Carter Jr. in this trade as well. Sixers first. Okay. We just traded for Donovan Mitchell. All right. So those are my two big trade uh, trades in this video. Uh, Giddy is 6'8", so he can technically guard threes, at least with his height. And Donovan Mitchell is a good defender. Anyway, all right. We just made another major move. So this will move Lou Dort to the bench. Uh, as long as I can just re-sign Carl Anthony Towns here. Let's make sure we get him back. I'm giving him the Godfather offer. And... All right, we get him back, thank God. So, yeah, uh, Carter Jr. is still going to start. Uh, Dort will go to the bench. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're good to go. All right, so this is a championship team next year. I think we can win it 100%. Ah, look who's on our team. Leandro Ball. Fancy seeing you here. All right, so this is going to be the rotation. Shea, Mitchell, Giddy, Carter Jr., and Cat with a bench of Lou Dort, Trey Mann, Keontae George, and Jamiah Robinson. Are. Like I said, this is a championship caliber team. Let's hope we can win it all in 2025. So a brother of a current Thunder player ends up winning MVP this year, but it doesn't matter because we are the one seed in Tower Hero on the Cavs is he from Cleveland or Ohio no no he might be from Wisconsin as we get coach of the year with Mark Dagno there uh, I think that said we went 58 and 24 did we get any thunder anywhere there's a trio of jazz and two former thunders technically in Dillingham and Fisher so they have a nice rebuild going on there we do get cat on all be a third team and yeah like when I do my jazz rebuild I might have to take like an offer like that so here are the stats throughout the year like we had three 20 point per game scores basically in cat shea and mitchell the big three there's uh giddy averaging seven rebounds and seven assists keontae george trey man wendell carter all averaging double digits and there's lou dort as well as jre if we look at assists per game we had five guys basically six guys above five assists a night i mean i don't think there's any reason that we should lose against the blazers here in the playoffs so let's hope that we can sweep them like we uh got swept by the thunder last year let me just simulate the current round and hope we're okay okay and we sweep them you know it's it's very it's a nice confidence boost when you can sweep your round one opponent because then it's like all right there's no reason for us to get swept or lose in round two so you know what? We can get swept and lose around too. We're going up against one of the best players in the world. Nicole Jokic, who's a 97 overall. There's uh, Mitchell Robinson coming off the bench, but we beat him by four in game one. There's Carl Anthony Towns dropping 30 in game two. Trey Mann drops 21 points in 19 minutes. Let's go. Game three, we lose uh, by 16. Bones Holland at 23. Carter Jr. has been pretty good in these players. He's been a very underrated player for us. And we're up three to one. All right, we blow them out. What a fourth quarter that was. Cat, George, Shea, all going off. Josh Giddy had a triple double, and we end up winning at five. Holy crap, we dropped 151 on the Mitchell, gives me 37 and eight. And there's no other team that I'd rather face here in the conference finals than the Warriors to get revenge on them. All right, here we go. Going up against the Golden State Warriors, they have Jaleel Okafor as their starting center. Come on, Cat, you should be feasting, and we lose by seven. Uh, Cat has 30, but it's not enough. Don't lose game two. Okay, thank God. We end up winning game two by seven. Cat gives me 25 and 11. Mitchell with 20 and seven. On to game three, we do win by 13 on the road. Cat, you should be going off in every single game. Like, Jaleel Okafor should not be able to contain you. And we're up three games to one. Let's go. And let's just win game in five here. Let's go. We end up winning in five. So we win four unanswered after losing in game one. Mitchell had himself a great series as well. And give me Detroit in the finals. That'd be nice. All right. No, we got Charlotte, who has the current MVP. They have De'Aaron Fox for some reason on this team. Did you trade for Fox or sign Fox? I guess you traded for him, right? Yeah. All right. So here goes nothing. Game one, we do win. Holy crap. We beat him by 44 points. Mitchell gives me 29. Shea with 27. Cat with almost a triple-double. Giddy at 15 and 14. And win a perfect 6 for 6 from the field. And we win game two by just one. You got to win the blowouts. Got to win the close ones. And game three, we're up 3-0. Let's go. And it looks like the Oklahoma City Thunder are going to be 2025 NBA champions. As long as we don't blow a 3-0 lead, in which we don't. So we actually went 16 in three in these playoffs. We dominated. We did. We built a championship team. And these are two potentially realistic guys or like realistic names that could be traded in the next two to three years like there's a, a world where donovan mitchell asks out definitely cat we'll see but they're going in the right direction i'd say the jazz have kind of like plateaued a little bit and maybe peaked with their current roster and like constructed cap space and all that and i feel like for the timberwolves they, they've been kind of like up down 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 up down and now they're kind of going up again so we'll see if any of these names do get traded and the thunder can offer 
better packages than pretty much anybody else in the nba so yeah i hope you guys did enjoy drop like if you did i will probably have the other teams that came out in that community poll as my next couple of rebuilds so you'll see like the jazz you'll see the hornets you'll see the rockets don't worry but yeah thank you all for watching i love you guys drop like if you did enjoy catch y'all on the next one peace